welcome everyone. We are Cats and Camo here today with the Heritage Rough Rider. We cowboy and up. <laughs> today we're reviewing a single action 22 long rifle. It is a six shooter. All steel, kind of a heavy 22. It's 33.2 ounces, so it's just over two pounds. The barrel length of this gun comes in at 4.75 inches, bringing the total length of this gun to a whopping 10 point. 035 inches. 10.035. Remember that. That five thousandths of an inch Apparently matters. <laughs> oh. The width of the gun at a 1.375 inches. And the height comes to 4.875 inches. Do you suppose with all those thousands that maybe this was, since it's a, an American cowboy gun, that they did fractions? And they got converted to decimal? I think they were compensating for something. What? It's a 10 inch gun! No, it's a 10.035 <laughs> inch gun. And now that you've got my curiosity peaked, let's take a look at what it's like on the inside. Because that's what matters. Alright, the Heritage Rough Rider. 4 inch barrel, 22. This is a single action gun, so there is no... Uh, on modern revolvers, you push it and the whole cylinder swings out on an arm. This is not designed to come apart that way. You notice we have an extra safety here. And the gate to load the gun, to take it apart, we're going to cock the hammer back partly. Saw the trigger kind of engage. There is a button here that's spring loaded. You're going to push that in and then this rod comes, lifts all the way out, like so. Then you're going to open the, the loading gate, and it will let the cylinder come out the side. And that is as far as your single action revolver comes apart. So you can scrub it, clean it, make sure you get the, the ejector rod and the spring there clean. But that's all there is to it. Put it back together, open the gate, make sure your cylinder goes in the correct way, and it goes in from right to left. Okay, so back in to level, almost level, but not quite. Hammer, there we go. Push the tab back in and feed this in. All the way. When it clicks, you're going to double check, make sure the cylinder turns and has a positive click. That means it's back, it's lined up and in place the correct way. Close the gate, hold the hammer, pull the trigger. There you are. The Heritage Ref Rider. All right, well, that seemed to be fairly simple. And I can't think it would be more fun at this point in time but to take it out of the range and get our cowboy on. We're going to get our cowboy on. That's awesome. You're wearing the wrong hat. No. Let's go on the range. Where the deer and the antelope play. <laughs> the cowboy jokes just don't stop. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're here on the range with our Heritage Rough Rider. Because this is a six shot revolver that does not reload in any sort of timely fashion. Basically, once you're out of rounds with this, you're going to reverse it and club the aliens to death. Um, and since Allie has way too much enthusiasm with that, <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're going to give Allie the six shots. She's going to do three in the torso on the seven yard target, and then three in the torso at the 12 yard target with our Heritage Rough Rider 22. Cowgirl Alley. Wow. There you go. A little high. Whew. One more. Long range.
Vulcan neck pinch. <laughs> With six shots, we're not going to do three in the head and then double tap. Um, I'm simply going to have fun with this, so I'm going to do the same shots Allie did. I'm going to do three shots to the head at seven yards, and then we'll do three shots to the head at 12 yards, and just enjoy our day with the cowboy gun. Does it look like I made much bigger holes with this gun that Allie did? Check those out. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you enjoyed this video, point those crosshairs at the like button down below. And make sure to stay tuned for part two, coming later this week. See you then. Pretty fancy set change. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Set change! <laughs> Done. <laughs> we don't need stage hands. <laughs>